what we know now, based on again upon the work that Buck and Axel and Firestein and some others have done, a single receptor can recognize multiple odorants. One, one of those protein receptors, one of the 400 guys can recognize multiple odorants. That does not mean that it will recognize them all to the same extent, each one as strongly as the others, okay? So it's sort of like, <clears throat> uh, again, you put your left hand in here and uh, you might have another odorant molecule that basically has the same um, stereochemistry but differs a little bit some part of the hand so it's a little bit harder to go into the glove and it doesn't fit it quite as strongly as the other one okay so you get different degrees of binding then a single odorant typically is recognized by multiple receptors it's the same sort of idea you might have an odorant molecule that doesn't perfectly fit a receptor but it can bind because it's got several different fingers. <coughs> you know, if, if, you, if I cut off my ring finger here, I can still put that into my glove, right? <coughs> but I've lost the interaction <coughs> of that one finger with the receptor. So you, you kind of get the idea there. Uh, <coughs> different odorants are recognized by different combinations of receptors. So now you kind of get the idea. Uh, I'm, if I breathe in a particular odorant molecule, I'm going to be interacting with multiple receptors. And this now becomes like playing the piano. If you want to generate a particular sound, a combination of notes, you want to have a pleasant sound, if you want to have a discordant sound, you play a different chord, a different combination of notes, and that's basically the idea here. And then we go back to the idea that an essential oil has multiple components. It's not just one kind of molecule. Each one of the molecules in the oil is going to affect multiple receptors, a bunch of those different protein molecules, okay? And each one of the components does that. So you can imagine how complicated this gets. And if you change some of those components, you're, you're possibly going to get a different odor. <clears throat> slight changes in chemical structure activate different combinations of receptors. So you slightly modify the structure, you're going to get something different. And if you take a really big whiff of something, you may get a different odor than if you just take a little whiff of it because again you're going to be affecting more and different kinds of receptors okay so this this all seems to work fairly very well and is the currently accepted idea regarding how we perceive these odors so is everybody uh, okay here let me just pause briefly here and see if you have any questions <clears throat> before I move on?